All right, I mentioned uh, projects get set aside and I come back to them later. <laughs> anyway, this is one of those projects. This is that um, equalizer that I bought and I got it super, super cheap um, because it didn't have the power supply on it and there was something else wrong with it and stuff. Anyway, it works fine. It just needs power supply and these things take a really weird wall wart. They're plus and minus 18 and a half volts. And uh, try to find a plus and minus 18 and a half volt supply. Um, yeah, they just don't exist. And uh, the wall wart would cost as much as just a whole brand new thing. So um, I found these online, uh, which are pretty cool. Um, let me uh, let me show you these a little closer. Let me move the camera down. So these are a, a power supply, uh, you know, AC in and DC out, and they're normal switcher design. But this one's plus and minus. So. I bought this one and it's plus or minus 15 volts output, which is close to 18, but I thought I could probably hack it and make it plus or minus 18 and a half volts. So that's what I'm going to try today. Um, so like I said, you put in the uh, AC here and we can do that. I have AC here. Kids don't try this at home. And turn it on and there's a little light that comes on. And uh, if you measure across the two center pins of ground, you get plus 15 on that side and you get minus 15 on this side. Okay, so uh, what I did was I figured there must be some feedback path to regulate the voltage. And in most of these switcher supplies, it's uh, isolated because there's high voltage on the front end. And so there's a optocoupler here that isolates the feedback loop. And so it, it, it uh, measures the voltage over here, then feeds it, feeds it back into this circuit and, and, and clamps it and feedback. So um, there's some resistors over here. So uh, I went ahead and traced the circuit out a little bit. Let me show you that. All right, so there's a, a negative diode and a positive diode and a high network, and there's some load resistors to keep it happy. So. Uh, 1.5 K's in parallel here and so that's what they that's what the output looks like so it looks very nice um, there's an LED that lights up and it's a 5 K resistor and then there's a funny little divider network here uh, so the the plus voltage is the one that's regulated and the minus will follow so they only regulate the positive side and it's a 1.2 K resistor and then I thought that was divided into ground but that didn't seemed to work out well but then I found another resistor which was 2.4k and that goes to ground but if you measure the voltages here you'll measure 15.1 uh, volts here and you'll measure two and a half volts here and that doesn't make any sense with these resistor values so uh, yeah two and a half volts so I think it's uh, probably current uh, into a uh, there's a transistor there as well, so they probably rely on this 0.6 volt drop or something. Anyway, um, I thought what's important is that you get 15 volts here and 2.5 volts here, which it sets up a 10 milliamp current through this resistor. So if you assume that other part of the circuit just generates the 10 milliamps, then, then this will um, be the one that sets the voltage. So. Um, you take 15.1, subtract 2.5, and you get around 12. Um, so this seems to this seems to be okay. So I want 16 volts across this resistor. 16 plus two and a half is 18 and a half, and uh, that would mean mean I need a 16 a 1600k resistor. Now does that make sense? Yeah, should be bigger than this one. Right, so it's 1.2 now, we're gonna move it up to 1.6. Uh, so I'm gonna take out this 1.6, uh, take out this 1.2 and put in a 1.6 and we'll see what happens to the circuit. So I looked in my uh, bin and I don't have a 1600, I have a 1K and I have a 2K, but I do have a 3.3K. So I put in two of those and I'll get my, uh, I'll get my uh, 1.6K. And fortunate for me, the PC board is actually laid out to have two resistors in parallel and one of them is not being used, so perfect. I'll remove that one and I'll put in two and uh, let's give it a try. All right, uh, I've got my, my two resistors in there and uh, let's, hook up our, let's hook up our AC. And we'll get out a voltmeter. 
handy voltmeter. All right, let's uh, turn on the AC. And, oh, oh no, it's not working. Oh dear. LED is flashing on and off and on and off and on and off. Why isn't it regulating? Oh, well, that's too bad. Hmm. Well, well, let's measure it. We are measuring. Oh, yeah, it's not working at all now. Oh dear. Why is it so damn sensitive? Hmm. Okay, well. Failure one. What the heck? Maybe those resistor values aren't the right ones. Let's uh, measure them. I should get 16K. Maybe 1.6K across these two. And... Okay. Uh, call me an idiot. Call me whatever you want. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, I read the uh, code on the resistor wrong. It wasn't uh, 1.2K, it was 12K, which makes a whole lot more sense if you think about this. So my calculation was completely bogus, and I should have known better. So if this was, if this was, here, let's go to a different page. All right. So now it looks like this. We have a, a 12K and we have a 2,400 2, and we had two and a half volts here and we had 15 volts here. Um, so if you do the math now, if you take a 12K and that and uh, you flip those around, and then you multiply that by 15.1. Yeah, you get two and a half volts. So this this works out just great. This works perfect. So this is this is how it's set up. So so now we want 18 and a half, 18.5. So now we can do the calculation. And um, let's see. Now we want. Okay. So now we're going to have 18 and a half volts. Uh, with this resistive divider, so it's going to be 2400 divided by R plus 2400, and that's going to give us two and a half volts. And all we need to do now is solve for R. Okay, so we have 18.5 times 2400 equals R plus 2400, and I'll put the two and a half over here, and so now. We just need to do the math. 18 and a half, 2400, 2.5 divide, and 2400 subtract. We need a 15.36K. All right, so let's find ourselves a 15, 15K resistor. All right, do we have one of those? Yes, we do, 15K, yay. So I'll pop that in there. We'll give, us a, give it a second go. Okay, let's turn around now. There we go, solid red light. Yay, it's working. So what kind of voltage do we get? Let's measure it. We are now getting 18.1 volts. Yeah, I think that's close enough. And over on this side, we're getting minus 17.9. I think those are probably just fine. Just fine. So anyway, uh, the hack worked. Uh, so now we have the right voltages. And let's uh, get some clip leads and hook them up to the, uh, hook them up to the patient here and see, uh, see if it works. All right, let's turn this off while we hook it up. See, that looks like ground. And we will connect ground to ground. And let's say this is negative. 
And negative. Negative, we will connect to this one over here. And let's use this clip lead. Positive. We'll put positive over here. All right, there we go. Will it work? Turn it on. Hey, look at that power. Awesome. So now, now I've got a working, uh, working mixer and I'll just need to uh, package this uh, package this thing up let me move the camera over so you can at least see some lights so we do have some lights here phantom power is coming on and off and uh, we have uh, can I make it do anything I'm trying to make the lights come on with some with some noise. Can I insert any noise? No. It's too quiet. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure it works. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, let me read you the part number off this thing in case you're interested in uh, getting a plus and minus supply. They're, they're fairly rare. It took me a while to find this thing. And I really like the form factor. It's quite small. So uh, let, let me show you that careful there's probably still high voltage on the capacitor on this thing okay there's the part uh, San San Mim SM FLA 17 a I remember when I bought these on uh, on eBay uh, they offered like plus or minus 5 plus or minus 9 plus or minus 12 plus or minus 15 you got to pick which one you wanted so they'll the load different resistors on it but they they topped out at 15 so I had to add my own resistor um, and uh, for size, if you're if you're curious, uh, size-wise, it is um, 80, 83 millimeters by 40 millimeters by. Uh, it's about you'll need about 20 millimeters of of uh, 20 millimeters of depth. But uh, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a nice, uh, a nice size for projects. I think um, output-wise, it's somewhere around 100 and something milliamps. I don't remember the specs now, uh, but it was certainly uh, good enough for the thing that I'm doing.